Hello. Last month, I was lucky enough to spend two days at the National Entrepreneurs Convention, surrounded by my favourite workaholics, people who run their own businesses. Um, I met St Steve Wozniak, uh, presented the awards on the big stage, and I met some really inspirational people. But my favourite bit by far was Deborah Searle's speech about her single-handed crossing of the Atlantic. This wasn't an intentional single-handed crossing. She started the race with her then husband, and when he pulled out two weeks in, she decided to continue alone. Very brave lady. As analogies go, it couldn't have been more relevant. With what I'm doing at Diamond, sometimes I feel like I am rowing a boat single-handed in stormy seas, and it's almost impossibly hard and very lonely. But actually, Deborah couldn't have done her crossing without an enormous support team, and neither can I, and for that I'm eternally grateful. As she said, she kept a wary eye out for the frigates and the sharks, thinking they would be the things that would scupper her journey. But actually, it was a benevolent turtle called Barney scraping playfully on the bow of her boat, causing holes in her hull, which nearly sunk her, which is a similar situation to what I'm faced with at the moment. I love the bit when she phoned home beaten and exhausted and ready to give up, and her sister said, we're not quite ready to quit yet. My team would have had the same response. She also said that when the destination is miles away, sometimes you just have to focus on the goal, not the mile miles ticking by or sometimes going backwards and keep on rowing. There were two key uh, sayings that I have to share with you also. One was, if you do what you have always done, you'll get what you have always got. Story of a part of my life. And if you can choose your attitude daily, I am a pretty positive person, but always decisively choosing a positive attitude a day and then reminding yourself of the positive behaviors that that attitude would result in is a great tool I think we can all use when times are tough. And a final thing, instead of focusing on what you want, in, case, in her case, I think it was a shower, a bed, or just the end of her journey, just focus on the goal, the attitude and behavior and persist. Her Atlantic journey took her three and a half months when the winner completed in something like 42 days, but she did it. An amazing lady, amazing lessons. Look her up at debrasell.com. And then you think, what attitude can I choose today? What goals do I need to focus on? What team do I have supporting me? And what can I change input wise to change the output? And what turtle do I have to look out for in my business? Have a superb month.